5 things I wish I knew before I started drawing digital art. First, coloring is arguably harder than drawing itself. I don't know why, but I had this preconceived notion that once I learned how to draw, my art life would be set. But no, coloring was a whole nother story. If I were to dial it down to a scale of a month in terms of how long it took me to learn drawing versus coloring, drawing would have taken maybe a week to learn and the rest would be me trying to figure out coloring. So like color theory is hard, rendering is hard, shadows are hard, lighting, atmosphere, background, making colors blend in with the background, I could literally go on forever. In fact, here's a drawing of when I tried coloring for the first time. Yeah, this is real and I did this in 20. 20. So this is the first thing I wish I knew and that is coloring is hard if not harder than drawing itself. And I should mention that I do have a how I color tutorial up so you can just click that which I put in the description. Second is clean line art is not mandatory. If I knew this before I started digital art, man I feel like my life would be so much easier. I cannot even recount how many hours I spent trying to get perfect line art because I I saw so many tutorials and videos on TikTok or YouTube saying, oh, like this is the perfect line art brush, or this is how you perfect your line art lines. And I was like, oh, line art must be a crucial and mandatory step. No, I was lied to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you can literally use your sketch as your line art, or you can do messy line art. Why not? I, like, it looks good to me. Like, look at this. It looks good, right? Boom, messy line art. Of course, it is a style preference. If you want to use clean line art, go for it. But as someone who tends to hyperfixate on certain things, letting go of perfectly balanced and clean line art was just so relieving. Okay, now this next one is something that I'm very passionate about and something that I've only really come to realize recently, which just makes my entire drawing process so much funner, which is coming to realization that you don't have to be good at drawing everything to be considered a good artist. Okay, so let me try and illustrate it with an analogy. So picture an opera singer. So an opera singer, they're doing great, they're doing their opera, but they can't, say, do rap music or country music. You wouldn't consider them a bad singer just because they can't do every style of singing, right? Like, that's just kind of weird. So I kind of applied that logic with art. So I remember being so sad that I could not draw like beautiful scenery and backgrounds. And that's because I focused a lot of my time practicing portrait shots or like anime styled men, very specific, yep. So with that in mind, I shouldn't call myself like a bad artist just because I couldn't draw or can't draw yet something that was not in my comfort zone. So if you draw one particular thing a lot, say character pieces, just take pride in what you draw, master it, and just remember that you should not be considered bad, or any less than, just because you can't draw other things or styles or things that you have just not experimented with yet. Now this next one might be obvious to most people, but I'm just gonna say it anyways because I'm stupid and I didn't really consider this, which is you won't go from this to this overnight. For some reason, I had the thought that I could just whip open my iPad, click open Procreate, and just create a fully rendered detailed piece in my first week of starting digital art. Of course, that is not what happened. It took around two years of drawing every single day, yep, every single day, for me to actually see improvement throughout. So another thing I wish I knew before starting digital art is to just slow down, learn the basics, and really just dig it, engrave it in your brain that you will not see improvement overnight or even in a few weeks. Maybe I'm just slightly delusional and this is just common sense to people like duh of course you gotta practice but I legit thought that because I see people on a daily basis that I could just draw spot on anatomy and just become a great artist in like a day. And to end off on a lighter note, the last one is very basic which is just use a bigger canvas. So many of my older pieces are drawn on like a thousand by a thousand or less um, and I was wondering, why is it so pixelated? Like, huh, I wonder why. So now I tend to use about 3000 by 4000 pixels. So if I ever want to use the transform tool or liquify, it doesn't get too pixely too fast. 
And I don't know about other programs, but for Procreate, bigger canvas means less layers. So be prepared to merge your layers or just use less layers in general. And those are the five things I wish I knew before I started digital art, which is coloring is hard, clean line art is not mandatory, adapt the mindset that you are not bad just because you can't draw everything, drawing takes time, a lot of time, and use a bigger canvas. I hope this was somewhat insightful. I don't know, I feel like I was kind of like ranting about my experiences, but if you are somewhat entertained, uh, please leave a nice comment. I don't know, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, but thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time, bye.